Buddha said, there is no self. What does it mean? No self, yeah, anatta, one of the major concepts in Buddhism. Mm -hmm. So how do you understand the no self? We have our mind, we have our body, but why do they say no self or non-self? So you can see this body. You have your mind that's constantly functioning, but why Buddha said no self? We live in the world of our consciousness. In our consciousness, everything is changing and flowing constantly. So think about the Shakyamuni Buddha. He was born and raised in a palace. That kind of status appeared to be permanent. But when Buddha was in his teens, he deeply realized there is a changing aspect of our life. Birth, old age, sickness, and the death. He felt very empty and probably Buddha thought, I have to pass through all those changing aspects. But one day he happened to see one monastic, one seeker for the truth, and a lot of aspiration start to arise in his mind. Without solving these fundamental primary questions in our life, nothing can become very meaningful. That's what Buddha thought. The Buddha left the palace and searched for truth, the deep meditation in Himalayas for six years. But he thought about uh, our mind is uh, composed of the various uh, kinds of uh, consciousness. That's uh, what he naively thought. But when he was really in deep samadhi, then he realized that uh, more deeper inner core of our consciousness. There is some kind of a core universal consciousness that beyond the consciousness and the subconsciousness. That's what he realized. That he was awakened to the, our true inner core. When he realized that, that universal consciousness or his true self, he also perceived that everything is working and operating on the karmic principle of cause and effect. So he expressed the reality that as a yongi bab, yongi, yon means the indirect cause, indirect cause plus the direct cause. Yeah. 그런데 그 yongi 법은 근본을 들어가니까 아무 그런 무엇이었다고 나 존재 자체도 없는 거라고. So everything is a constantly change depending on arising depending on something else. So nothing is, the, there is no substance in everything. Whether in our true self or in everything, there is no substance, independent fixed substance, but it is not voidness. Based on that core, everything is working in a very ordinary cosmic way. So this is the essence of the Buddha Dharma. 
그렇게 명상을 하고 선을 하고 연부를 하고 모든 것이 결국 무엇이냐면 그 하나를 깨닫기 위해서 들어가는 거라고. We can think about why we meditate, why we chant, why we study scripture. It is eventually to realize that that core, so called the universal consciousness, or not self. 의식의 세계에서는 절대 그 세계를 짐작할 수가 없다. In our normal, regular level of consciousness, we cannot fathom, we cannot guess that universal consciousness, our inner core. 그리고 우리 의식의 세계에서 잠재 의식으로 들어가고. From the level of consciousness to the deeper level of consciousness or subsection, subconsciousness, we have to go into. 잠재 의식에서 깊은 무식 세계로 들어가야 된다. And then, when we go to subconsciousness, the deeper and the deeper, then we will come closer. 그것은 누가 말로 해서 알수 있는 것이 아니라. This the so-called uh, our universal consciousness or our original face is uh, indescribable. It is uh, beyond our verbal expression. 하여튼 깊은 명상을 통해서 체험하는 거라. Only after when we go <웃음> in deep meditation, it is something we can taste. We can get the glimpse of that. 천만 가지 경전을 다 밝혀서도 그것은 가르쳐 줄수 없다. Even the you may we may read hundreds of thousands of scripture we cannot get close 다만 안내를 해줄 뿐이다. but they are just a guide they are just a guide the post that 체험은 자기가 하는 거야 when it comes to experience it is our own thing it is something we have to do that for ourselves 명상의 핵심은 생각은 너무 세계로 들어가는 거라 so from one perspective, though, we can say the essence of a meditation is going beyond our thinking mind. Think about how we live in our daily life. We see, we hear, we talk, etc. We live in the world of sensory experience. That's where we live. 광문이 발달 세계일수록 더 이렇게. 현란하게, 현란해지게 Especially 되죠. in these days when the science, the material civilization is highly advancing, our mind is more and more exposed to sensory experience. 우리 의식의 세계가 자꾸 좁아진다. In other words, the scope, our consciousness become narrower, narrower. It's hard to find our true self. 그렇기 때문에 명상을 해야 된다. That's why we more desperately need to practice meditation more. 깊은 체험의 세계에 들어가면 무화를 할수 있다고. Only when we go very deep in our meditation, we can see, we can see into the reality of a no self, which is ultimate. 그것을 무화라고도 했고요. Sometimes it's called the no self or anatta. 진여라고도 했고. Or sometimes the 진여, which means thusness, things as they are. 진공이라고도 했고. Or some master. Labeled it as a true emptiness, 열애라고도 했고, or 열애, or the takata, neither coming nor going. 여러 가지 표현을 하시는. There are a lot of expressions for that reality. 핵심은 하나라고요. But the essence is just the one. 개체적인 나에서 전체 세계로 들어가는 거라고. From individual self to universal self, that is the essence as well as the process. Yeah. Okay. The next question: What is the mindfulness? What is the relationship between mindfulness and meditation and the Buddhism? 불교의 핵심은 뭘까요? What if you are asked what is the essence of Buddhism? How would you reply? 팔만 사천 가지 법문을 해주셨어요. Actually, Buddha for forty-nine years he gave a lot of Dharma talks. But when it is condensed in one sentence, what could that be? Mind, mind and heart. Shim means it's translated in English, mind, mind and heart. That is what the Buddha revealed. 
이 마음으로 된 줄을 everything is of our mind creation is the essence of the buddha's teaching 불교심 마음의 원리를 아는 거라 so the principle of the buddhism is to realize the path of a buddhism is to realize our true mind 몸이랑은 업으로 뭉쳐진 하나의 집합체라 think about this body this is the aggregate of our karma because of our karma this is the consequence of our karmic action 어부 관계 속에서 움직이면서 살아간다 So when we use this body in our life so we create karma and karma is created by this body 그 몸을 움직이는 원리가 어떻게 된 마음 마음에 들어 있다 what moves what make this body function That's our mind. 그러기 때문에 마음을 챙기지 않고 불교 공부를 할 수가 없다. So without becoming mindful of using our mind that we cannot practice Buddhism. 불교의 시작은 마음을 챙기는 데부터 시작됐다. So the starting of the Buddhist practice is take care of our mind. That area of mind is, is the starting. 원불교를 창경하신 창건하신 소태단 대종사께도 수행은 마음을 챙기는 데부터 시작된다고 그랬다. So our founding master, Sotesan also mentioned the, the essence of our spiritual practice lies in take care of our mind, mindfulness. 마음은 아무 흔적도 없다고. There is no smell vestige. It is beyond our sensory experience, the essence of our mind. Even the, the essence is empty. All kinds of things, especially all kinds of wandering thoughts arise from that empty nature of our mind. How can we describe our life? We just scatter our life when we use our body and mind. 그래서 마음을 딱 챙겨야 된다고. So collecting our mind, taking care of our mind is the starting point of mindfulness. 그것이 마치 아이를 기르는 것과 같다고. It's exactly like taking care of our babies. 아이가 막 태어나면. Think about one person just give birth to a child. 한눈을 팔지 않고 계속 지켜봐야 된다. So the mother cannot keep the eyes off the baby. 지켜보지 않으면 아이는 위험에 빠뜨릴 수가 Without watchfulness or mindfulness, the baby may be in danger. 끊임없이 이렇게 살펴본다. Continuous mindfulness or watchfulness is how mother take care of its baby. 아이가 조금 성장하게 되면 When the baby grows a little big, 대체적으로 쭉 영역을 전하고 이렇게 살펴본다. So the baby can wander around, move around in a certain area in one's room, but we cannot let go of our watchfulness. 그래서 사람이 성장하게 되면 성인이 되면. But eventually the baby becomes an, an adult. 스스로 살아갈 길을 알게 된다. The that person, the baby, know by itself how to live, how to move. without the mother's help. 처음 마음 공부를 하는 사람은 마치 아기 어린아이가 태어날 때 살피듯이 딱 마음을 살펴봐야 돼. If you think you are a beginning practitioner, you need to care, take care of your mind constantly, mindfully. 잠깐만 마음을 놓아 버리면 이 마음이 사방팔방으로 막 돌아다닌다. <웃음> if you are beginning practitioner, if you let go of the rain The grip of your mindfulness, your mind will wander around in all directions. 그래서 uh, 유념, mindfulness가 중요하다. That's why mindfulness is very important. And 근데 people, 여기서 중요한 것은 마음을 챙기면 근본 마음의 깊이를 깨닫는 데 초점을 맞춰야 된다. But even though we become mindful in some area, That direction of a mindfulness should be practiced together with understanding the nature of a mind. It should be practiced in tandem. 깨달음을 깊이로 들어가지 못하면 
without realizing the nature of our mind. 오히려 어, 마음을 챙기지 나를 강화시킬 수 있다. Mindfulness sometimes becomes very bothersome or annoying. It distracts your mind sometimes. 그래서 우리 마음을 챙길 때늘 무아 내가 없는 자리를 비춰봐서 삶을 비춰봐야 된다. So when you, if your practice becomes very mature, if you practice mindfulness in some area, it should be based on no self, on your true self. 우리 마음은 이 어떤 것을 규격을 지키를 좋아한다고 틀을 지키를 좋아한다. The tendency of our average mind would like to have some format, some direction, some fixed idea. It is how our average mind works. 그래서 마음을 챙기되 흔적 없는 마음자리의 바탕에서 유념을 할줄 알아야 된다고요. So when we practice mindfulness, it should be based on our true nature or no mind. We should practice mindfulness in a very natural way. 그 핵심을 육조대사가 응무 소주 이생 기심으로였다. So this 마음을 내서 쓰되 주차가 없는 마음을 내서 쓰라고 그랬어요. So, in one sentence, the sixth patriarch, Mr. Wei Nang, expressed in this way: "Use your mind without dwelling any thought. Give rise to to a mind without dwelling in any thoughts." This is also the essence of a Diamond Sutra. 그렇기 때문에. 공부하는 사람은 마음을 챙기지 않고 공부할 수가 없다. So without mindfulness we cannot make our practice mature. 특히 소태산 대종사께서는 마음 챙김 유념을 굉장히 중요하게 중요하게 생각하십니다. Particularly in our tradition, our founding master really emphasized the mindfulness. 광문이 발달되기면 우리는 엄청난 위험 속에서 살게 된다. Our mind can be in danger in this materialistic society as a science technology is constantly advancing 한순간 마음을 챙기지 않으면 엄청난 재앙이 올 수도 있다. In this rapidly changing society without paying attention our life sometimes can be in danger. 그렇기 때문에 현대를 살아가는 모든 사람에게 있어서는 마음 챙김이 대단히 중요하다. So let's keep that in mind when we live in this contemporary competitive society then the mindfulness in some area is really essential. Yeah. I hear that there are different types of breathing in meditation practice. What are those? How do I know which one is right for me? 우리 생명이 어디에 달려있냐? Where is our life or life force? 호흡이 중요하다고. 호흡이 중요하다고. Breathing, <웃음> breathing is very important. 그런데 여기서 중요한 것이 있다. 우리는 그냥 호흡하면 산소를 들이키고 산소를 내뿜고 뭐 이런 생각을 한다. 보통 사람. Regular people understanding breathing, take in the oxygen, take out. Some air. That's the regular people's understanding of breathing. 그런데 우리 생명을 유지하기도 하지만은 깊은 우주의 이그 진리 원리가 그 호흡을 통해서 내 몸에 왔다. But when we carefully investigate the nature of our breathing, actually the essence of the universal truth is in our breathing, breathing in and out. 그렇기 때문에 호흡은 모든 것을 하는 사람이 호흡이 대단히 중요하다. 모든 일을 하는 사람이 있어서. So whether practitioner or not, in whatever we do, breathing is very critical. 운동하는 사람. To the athlete. 춤추는 사람. To the dancer. 산행할 때. When we hike. 일을 할 때. When we work hard. 이 호흡을 잘 조절하는 것이 중요하다. Breathing properly, breathing well is very important. 산을 올라갈 때 호흡하고 when you see the breath when you hike to the top of the mountain is different from the breathing when you climb down. 다른 거라고. The breathing is a little different when you carefully observe. 올라갈 때 호흡을 내려올 때 호흡으로 하게 되면은 몸이 굉장히 힘들어진다. 
if uh, you keep the same pattern of breathing that you use when you climb up to the mountain, we use the same pattern of the breathing when you climb down, your body becomes easily exhausted. In whatever exercise or sport, we have to be mindful of our breath. When it comes to the meditation, breathing is the most important thing. There are a lot of meditation techniques, how to breathe properly. But we can classify into categories. Roughly speaking, 내쉬는 숨을 길게 쉬느냐, 들이쉬는 숨을 길게 쉬느냐 이두 가지라고. Depending on the tradition, some traditions recommend to exhale longer than inhale. Some another tradition recommend the opposite. 요가를 할때 몸을 그 이완시킬 때는 어떻게 해야 되냐 물어봐. So when you practice the yoga, when you relax your body, what's your breathing pattern? How do you breathe when you relax? When we relax our body, we usually <coughs> exhale very, very long. When you re relax our body, that is the, the time when you exhale. How about chanting? Your breathing when you chant. 마찬가지로 챈팅할 때는 들이쉬면 짧게 강하게 내쉬는 숨은 길게 내쉬면 상하는 거라. It is the same. When you practice a chanting meditation, your exhalation is the longer than inhalation and the very thin. Your inhalation is a shorter and a little strong. 몸을 이완시킬 때는 소흡을 길게 내뿜고. So relaxation is related with exhalation. But when you try to conserve your energy, then you need to inhale longer. So particularly in order to accumulate a lot of good energy in your energy center and your body, you need to inhale a little longer than exhalation. But this is a general guideline depending on the practitioner. Things can be very different. Some people are born with a kind of a physical constitution. They, their inhalation, exhalation is very long and thin. It depends on their body's condition. 그렇기 때문에 그 몸의 상 따라서 호흡 조절은 그때 그때 조금씩 달라질 수 있다. So even though it's the same person, depending on our bodily condition, our breathing in and out should be a little flexible. 초보자가 공부할 때는 호흡이 그래서 상당히 중요하다. Especially if you think you are beginning practitioner, you need to be aware of your breathing. But as your practice goes mature, you need to, need to forget about the, your 호흡, breathing gradually. Why they recommend to be aware of our breathing when we practice? It is to stay centered without uh, wandering thoughts. It, this is the expedient means. It is to collect one mind, to reveal our original mind or one single mind of mindedness. The essence is not breathing. The essence is uh, collecting our mind, taking care of our mind. Collecting one single mind, one pointed mind is uh, the essence. 깨달음을 세계에 들어가고 through this uh, direction we can see into our true self or 진리, realization. 진리 세계에 들어가는데 in order to realize the ultimate reality 열쇠가 딱 하나 있다. there is just one single key. 그것이 뭐냐? what could that essential key? In order to attain enlightenment, what is the, the best path? 
일심이라고. One pointed mind. One pointed mind. 일심. This is uh, the direction as well as the nature of our true self. 일심이 진리를 뚫고 들어가는 이야기. One mind is the key to penetrate into the ultimate reality. 그렇기 때문에 핵심은 거기에 있기 때문에 이 호흡은 챙기되 낮은 호흡까지도 놓아버려. So in the beginning you need to become aware of your breathing in l a e t c So as your practice go b o r mature, you need to take care of your mind primarily instead of your breathing. 살아있는 모든 사람 자동적으로 호흡이 들어왔다 나갔다 시키 As long 시키게. as people you are alive, whether you are conscious or not, you breathe. 깊은 명상의 세계 들어가면 몸이 스스로 알아서 호흡을 조절해서 왔다 갔다 합니다. If you go very deep in meditation, the breathing will take care of itself. You do not have to pay attention to your breathing. 몸은 하나의 통과 같이. Our breathing or breath is just a just a The step that we need to pass. 호흡은 깊게 들어왔다 나갔다 자연스럽게 하는 거라고. So let the breathing very deep and natural. That's the basic principle. 그러나 초보자에게서는 호흡이 상당히 중요하다고. So, but for the beginning practitioner, so you need to be watchful how your breathing is. 그래서 yeah. 부처님께서 초보자에게 수식관 호흡을 호흡관을 이야기하셨다. That's why Shakyamuni Buddha. For the beginning practitioners, uh, you need to count to one, two, three, according to the inhalation and the exhalation, to be more mindful of your breathing. 